Implantation bleeding is light bleeding from the vagina that occurs after 10 to 14 days following implantation of a fertilized egg into the uterine endometrium. Implantation bleeding is considered a normal physiological phenomenon of pregnancy, and about 25% of pregnant women experience it. When the fertilized egg or the embryo attaches to the uterus, it causes a slight disruption of the integrity of the uterine endometrium, which gives rise to implantation bleeding. Implantation bleeding typically occurs around the time of menstruation. So, most women confuse implantation bleeding with normal menstruation. Therefore, it is important to know the difference between implantation bleeding and normal menstruation. Implantation bleeding is just spotting or a very light flow of blood. However, as you have experienced every month, menstrual flow starts heavy and the flow decreases as you reach the end of menstruation. Implantation bleeding typically lasts for about one to three days, but menstrual flow can last for about four to seven days. Implantation bleeding is not associated with abdominal cramps, or there may be only mild cramps. However, menstruation is often associated with severe cramps. The blood in implantation bleeding is light pink or brown in color, and it is not associated with the passage of clots. But menstrual blood is bright or dark red in color and may be associated with passing clots. Additionally, implantation bleeding may be associated with other signs of pregnancy. However, it is important to keep in mind that as implantation bleeding occurs very early in pregnancy, these signs may not be present at all. Some of them include morning sickness, breast tenderness, food cravings or aversions, mood swings, and headaches. If you are not sure whether it is implantation bleeding or menstruation, take a home pregnancy test or consult your doctor for confirmation. Thanks for watching. Hope someone found this video helpful.